In this video, we'll see how to use data from a Send Blaster list to create labels. In this example, we'll create labels showing names and addresses to be placed on envelopes for snail mail traditional mailing to be sent out alongside our newsletter. Let's see how! On the toolbar, let's click on the link data source icon. We'll choose the data is stored in an address book. Then we'll choose Send Blaster. If our Send Blaster list is password protected, enter the password here. Otherwise, just move on to the next step. We can choose to sort the records based on a specific field. We can activate filtering. This means being able to show only certain records. For instance, all the contacts that contain the term New York in the city field. Note that in this case, only those records matching the specified criteria will be shown. But all of the records will still be loaded. This means that filtering can be removed or modified at a later time. This is our Send Blaster list. We can choose to show all of the records, or just some. And again later on, we'll be able to change the setting without having to reload the data. We are ready to load Send Blaster's data. This is a short recap of all the actions needed now. All we have to do now is link text objects found on the labels to the list we just imported from SendBlaster. We can link each object to a single field, but also include in a single object more fields simultaneously. And this function is rather helpful in this case. Look! Let's link to this object the fields name and surname of our SendBlaster list. Double click. Text. Let's remove the example text and click on Fields. Let's add the name tag, space, and the surname tag. Click on OK and see the result. As you can see, we have added name and surname in a single text object. We can then modify its appearance. We'll do the same for the address. We add a text object. We remove the example text and we add the fields in the desired position. Address. Enter. Zip. City. Click on OK. We define text alignment. We move the object to the desired position. And our label is ready to be printed.